What's up, YouTube? Sid's his autograph site here uh, with a once again no mail day. That's three days now, no mail. Uh, it's awesome. I really love it. Uh, can't beat it. Uh, so today's video is going to be uh, thrift shop hauls, uh, and also my wife's parents were down the other day and they brought some stuff. Uh, they've been pickers pretty much all their lives, and um, usually whenever they come, they bring whole bunch of stuff most of it's junk um, but I did find a few pieces that might be something so we're gonna go ahead and get to what they brought first uh, first I have this plate uh, eat drink be healthy count your calories uh, basically uh, this family is definitely gonna ignore that uh, we don't like to be healthy no I'm just kidding uh, so $1.50 price tag my parents paid. Um, this plate is a Royal Halsey. Very fine. I don't know if you can make that out too well, but that is what it says. Um, so these pieces, they go for a couple bucks. Nothing real big, nothing major, but still a neat plate. Uh, next we have from the Ormsby House and Casino, Carson City, Nevada. A gun with the rose coming out of it. Ashtray. Um, there's sellers on eBay trying to make uh, like between 5 and $10 on these. So it's kind of neat. Maybe I can make a buck on that. Uh, next we have these uh, men's overalls. They are my size, but hey, I don't want to look like a railroad conductor guy, so I'm not going to be wearing these. Uh, there's Big Mac right there. I'd never heard of this clothing company before. Big Mac Authentic Workwear. Uh, Big Mac Authentic Workwear since 1922. Square back. Uh, it's 32 waist, 36 length. I'm not sure when these came out. I don't know if they're newer, if their company's still in business or not, or what, but I know vintage clothes sell pretty well. I've had some success with some certain items on eBay. Um, didn't find an exact pair like this, but people are trying to sell these um, overalls for between 20 like I think the lowest I've seen is $15, $20. So I might be able to sell these and make a buck on those. Uh, next, we have a couple of items from the House of Webster. Uh, this is the Liberty Bell. It's like a cookie jar, and I noticed some of the listings say biscuit jar. Uh, the top comes off there. You put your whatever in there. Uh, and there's the House of Webster stamp on the bottom. The House of Webster ceramics. Uh, I've seen people selling these, you know, between five, ten dollars or more. I did not see any completed listings for any of this stuff, so. And then this one here is a telephone replica. Top comes off. Again, cookie jar, biscuit jar. Uh, there's a House of Webster mark on the bottom there. Um, sticker price here, they were originally trying to get $13, but then I, they probably sold it for half price, I guess, with the red slash through that. Alright, so that's it for what my, some of the better items of what my wife's parents brought. Next, I went to uh, the Disabled American Veteran Yards, or Disabled American Veteran Thrift Store yesterday. I uh, picked up a bunch of stuff. Um, normally I leave the price, I take the prices off, but I'm going to leave them on today. I don't know why, just whatever. So, here we go. My wife found these, actually. Um, two pictures. They are both copyright 1985. I don't know if you can see that too well. Copyright 1985, the Homeco Company. Uh, paid 99 cents a piece for these. Um, somebody did paint the original frame pink, but 
did an okay job. It does look nice. So um, I've seen people on eBay selling these anywhere from five dollars or more. So, but these will go up in my daughter's room. They are very nice. Uh, next, I got all these cassette tapes. Uh, cassette tapes at my at that thrift store are 29 cents a piece. Uh, I got a Vovoid Angel Rat. Uh, they're a heavy metal group. This is 1991. Got Loudness, Japanese heavy metal group. Lightning Strikes. Uh, 1986. Then I got Sepultura, Schizophrenia, uh, Brazil, Brazilian Heavy Metal Group, 1987. And then Kraftwerk, one of the original techno duos, or techno bands. I'm not sure if they're a duo, I think they were. But Kraftwerk uh, from Germany, I believe, The Mix. This is 91. And last but not least, music from the John Williams score, Star Wars Return of the Jedi. So that is very cool. Uh, it is copyright 1983. So 29 cents a piece on the cassette tapes. More than likely, I will be keeping all of those. Uh, next, you guys might laugh at me for this, but there it is. Muscle and Fitness Magazine, July 2007. This is the Arnold Schwarzenegger special, the first 60 years. Get to the chopper! My name is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. Um... Paid 19 cents. Uh, this thrift store writes on their items with crayon a lot. Uh, but as you can see, most of the time it does wipe off pretty well. Like I said, most of the time. Uh, usually, if it leaves anything, you can usually get it off with a wet, a wet rag. You usually won't damage the item too much. So. Anyway, this this issue is pretty cool. Uh, it's got a bunch of different covers. And it's also got a poster here that's still included. Can't really see it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, at this store, the, the DAV magazines are buy one get one free. Books are buy one get one free. So I really uh, I'm not too careful of what I buy too much on books and magazines. I'm just because I know I I'll buy it, take a chance on it, and I can get another book for free. So I got that. Uh, picked up this copy of Reaching Teens in their National. Natural Habitat, a field guide for savvy parents by Danny Holland. Again, $1.49 I paid. But that price rubs right off. I'd much rather, if they're going to price stuff, put a price on something, they do it this way because 99% go, 95% of the time, it just wipes right off. See? Gone. Okay? Rather than put a price sticker that just never fully comes off. But anyway, I picked up this book here. Uh, it is signed by the author. Uh, he's an international public speaker and author of two books. Thanks for all you do, Danny. So that was pretty cool. Then I picked up this book here. Kansas Jayhawks, A Year to Remember, Inside the Greatest Season in KU Basketball History. $1.99 for this book, so I paid $1.99 for this book, got the $1.49 book for free. How can you beat that? You can't. So again, $1.99 plus 
take your finger, especially books that have a dust jacket, I mean it really comes right off. Um, if it's on older books or something like that, it's a little bit more difficult, but see it's gone. Uh, and this particular copy is autographed by number three, Russell Robinson. Uh, this is him right here, Russell Robinson. Um, he was drafted by the Rockets in 2008, but they cut him. Uh, he currently is playing basketball in Spain. But it is signed, hardcover, so pretty cool. Then I got this book here, Long Shot. Uh, it's the second or third time I have owned a, a copy of this book. Again, $1.99. Rubs right off. Gone. Uh, by Jeff Boshi and Mike and Mark Horvath. And his autograph to Don, a loyal KU fan. Good luck. Jeff Boshi, number 13, and Mark Horvath. Uh, Jeff Boshi is currently the coach or assistant coach of Missouri Southern State University men's basketball. So got that pretty nice. And finally, this is kind of a day for Kansas. Of course, you're going to find these books a lot, I guess, because this is the second or third time I've owned this copy of Floor Burns, Inside the Life of the Kansas Jayhawk, uh, written by Jared Hayes and Mark Horvath again. $1.99 again. So I bought one of these and got the other one free, guys. That is awesome. Uh, in this particular copy, what was cool was it had a nice newspaper article about him autographing copies of the book. And again, autographed to Don, Jared Hayes, number 35, and Mark Horvath. And Jared Hayes is currently the assistant coach of the North Carolina Tar Heels basketball team. So awesome. Then I picked up this book. Um, DAV actually had a 3x5 card with the price in it, which I already threw away, but it was a buck forty-nine. Uh, this is the complete book of press photography from the National Press Photographers Association Incorporated. Uh, they had originally wrote 1075 in here, but marked it down, I guess, to buck 49. Uh, now, I don't like it when they do that, because can't erase that. Anyway, still in really good shape. Uh, this is copyright 1950. Um, I believe that is the Hindenburg going down there. I mean, his book is awesome. A lot of the famous, there's Babe Ruth right there. A lot of the famous newspaper photos are reproduced in this book. Uh, there's some color pictures in here. I believe that's Joe Lewis' fight right there. It's awesome. So, it's, I guess it's all about how to do, uh, how to take photographs. Uh, for newspapers and television and whatnot. Some great stuff here. I mean, it's just a really neat book. Um, I did not see any completed listings on eBay for copies of this, but there is somebody trying to sell a copy of it for like 15 or $25, one of the two. There's an ad for Collier's. But, but just a lot of uh, tells you really how to do uh, magazine and newspaper photography. So really, really cool, interesting book. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep that or not. Uh, then I got save those two for last. Got this book here, the Encyclopedia of Model Railroads, dollar uh, ninety nine. Again, rubs right off. 
Uh, copies of this really aren't selling for much on eBay. Um, so invoice. Let's see. So it looks like copyrights May 1979 from Peerage Books. I would have thought it'd be yeah 1979 Peerage Octopus Books. Would have thought it would be going for more money, but I guess it's a pretty common book. But I mean, model railroading is a massively huge hobby. So, and I've always been interested in it. So it's going to be fun to look at, and then I'll throw it up on eBay and see what happens. But like I said, copies of this really aren't going for much. There's like one for buy it now, six dollars. But it's still a cool book, hardcover book. Paid the book ninety nine for that one. And I got this one for free, Volume 2, 1960 to 1990, John Deere Tractors and Equipment. And again, the price comes right off. Um, I've had pretty good success with selling John Deere stuff. It's very popular. Uh, this is from the American Society of Agricultural Engineers. Copyright 91. Um, people are trying to get anywhere from 10 to $30 for this book. Uh, it's actually somebody in Europe that's trying to get like 50 their cost. So I did not see any completed listings again. It really sucks. I didn't see any completed listings for any of this stuff. But so hopefully I'll be able to make a good book on that. And keeping along those same lines, I picked up this book. Illustrated History of the American Farm Tractor, $1.99 again. And this is uh, copyright 99. Nice little four on a page, big hardcover book. But I've had pretty decent success selling. Uh, tractor and farm related memorabilia, which is why I took the chance on this. Uh, again, paid a buck ninety nine for that, and I got this for free. Uh, this book I will be keeping. Get that buck ninety nine off of there. So you, eventually you get black hands, so you got to wash your hands before you continue to do this. Otherwise, you really don't get it off too well. But see. Um, but this is the NBA, Today's Stars, Tomorrow's Legends. It's a really cool book. I believe it was published in 93. Uh, from Brompton Books. Yep, 1993. Um, but everybody that was popular back then, Isaiah Thomas, Stockton, John Starks, um, Shaq's in here, Mark Price, Scotty Pippen. There's Shaq, Hakeem Olajuwon, Chris Mons, Alonzo Mourning, Michael Jordan, of course, Carl Malone's in here, Tim Hardaway, Joe Dumars. Just a really neat book. Charles Barkley, Nick Anderson. So this will go in my sports library. Oh, forgot a cassette tape. Another Loudness album. Soldier of Fortune, copyright 1989, another 29-cent tape. And the last two items are my best ones. Ugh. All right, we have the Liberace Show, 40th anniversary. I bought this for 49 cents. I got that Muscle and Fitness magazine for free. So I paid 49 cents for this. This is a like a souvenir program or something for Liberace. I uh, know it is not signed by Liberace. I wish. It is not. Uh, there he is in all his glory. The man, the myth, the legend, Liberace. Kind of a neat souvenir program type deal. Look at that. That is awesome. 
So here we continue on through the life of the great Liberace. You know, wait, what's that? It is signed, Love, Dora Liberace, 11-26-84. Uh, Dora was Liberace's sister-in-law. Uh, she died herself in 1996. So it is signed, just not by Liberace. But it is pretty cool. Um, somebody associated with the great Liberace. So there you have it. No, those aren't real signatures. I wish. So there's that one. And finally, paid a dollar ninety nine for this. This is a souvenir program from Garth Brooks's World Tour. And no, this is not signed by Garth Brooks, unfortunately. Again, I wish. That's still pretty cool. Oh, wait, what is that? Uh, in signed and inscribed, uh, Don, Dave, I'm not sure. Uh, God bless Dan Roberts and Brian Kennedy. Um, Dan Roberts and Brian Kennedy opened for Garth Brooks on his 1996 world tour. Um, Dan Roberts is a Grammy nominated country singer. And Dan Roberts, Brian Kennedy, and Garth Brooks all worked together to write the number one hit of Garth Brooks, which uh, was Beaches of Cheyenne. So that's pretty cool. So a couple of the openers for uh, Garth Brooks's World Tour, Dan Roberts and Brian Kennedy have both signed it. So that is awesome. And there's Garth, I guess, covered in blood. A little bit of a carry moment there. Weird. So anyway, that's that. So those are my hauls for the last few days or so. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll talk to you later. See you.